alpacas. They look like little llamas, but smaller. I have 53 at the moment. The alpaca fleece is some of the best fibers in the world. Come along, Shiba. The Inca prized the fleece of the alpaca so much that only royalty was allowed to wear it. Gosh, there's only a couple of other fibers that might be warmer. One is polar bear fleece, and it's not too convenient to, to shear them. Come on, girls! This alpaca's name is Cornucopia. It's my understanding that uh, she had stepped in a hole and ended up breaking her, uh, her foot. And she was not walking on it, so they discovered that she, she had a bad foot, and the veterinarian ended up doing an amputation. Uh, she didn't have any problem adapting to it at all. Once she, she got it, it was uh, just like she had her, her original leg. Ranch manager Stacy Forshee has been with Corpaconia helping from the beginning. When she first got the new leg, it was every day. Every time I take it off, it looks clean and uh, she seems very happy with it. She's not limping, she's running, she's doing everything an alpaca is supposed to do. When you put a new animal in, the first couple of days, they're very curious. And then after that, it's, eh, you know, that's, that's old news. Food is more important. She has, though, figured out that she can use it as a weapon to the others when they crowd up. If she wants food, she'll pick it up and swing it at them, and they all scatter. And, you know, there was a guy that built a uh, prosthesis for a, uh, a dolphin. But, you know, I, I think it's a little more practical building a prosthesis for a an alpaca because they can still be harvested for their fleece and, and the animal can still have offspring. This is a Christmas present for a uh, little cornucopia. With a second chance at a normal life and a fourth leg, cornucopia will be around to continue producing fleece for years to come. John Guthrie, 2 News works for you.